My name is Sophia. Can you say my name is Sophia? <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Leonila and my daughter's name is Sophia. So here we are, we're gonna talk about the object boxes, speech boxes, um, mini objects, what we uh, often call these. Um, so these boxes uh, are inspired for those, uh, if you got into this channel, it's because you know about object boxes, speech boxes, and mini object boxes and um, uh, I'm sure you've known and heard of them through the Montessori system uh, and also maybe through the Lakeshore um, teacher supply stores they also sell similar items to what I have done as do-it-yourself project um, the Lakeshore um, has some little tubs inside the tubs you'll find mini objects of, um, of objects that we use them to create uh, the, the first sound of the word of a little object. So uh, that is used in the public schools with some teachers or like I mentioned, also the Montessori system also has these um, object boxes, speech boxes to help the child uh, learn the name of the object and pronounce the first sound of the object. For example, if you use um, um, on her table right now there is a popcorn um, so we would ask her to pronounce the first letter sound of the word popcorn so let me dive in there because what I really want to do here is show you what's inside our boxes and there's some little objects that we're gonna place in their new ones that we're gonna place inside those object boxes so um, you can see what we are going to do let me see if I can move this a little bit closer there to where she's at um, if she does not move my camera here, um, there we are. Excuse me, Sophia. There we go. And so I know it's a little too close there, guys, but let me see if I can pick up the camera a little bit up and you can see um, that is her setup up here if you're wondering what that looked like. But uh, behind me is her playroom and this is where we work. This setup of the mini objects boxes is not the permanent place for it because these mini boxes are not toys for your child. It's more like for the parent to use um, so that the parent can teach the child what's inside each box and what letters and sounds they come with. So uh, moving right along with it, let's see if I can dive in here and show you guys um, what's gonna be in these boxes. Hopefully I don't come out in the box and um, let me see the lighting if it's good for you guys or not. Is that better? No. No? Maybe that would be better. I think the lighting is a little bit, I have the light on. So let me see if I can dive in here, you guys, and see what we can do to work with these boxes. Mommy, so ready? she is, yes, I'm ready, Sophia. She's ready to open a little mini box. So what do we do, how we gather all these little mini object boxes? There's so many in there that some are from the Montessori service. Um, I think it's montessoriservice.com or Montessori. I'll link that below where I got most of these little mini objects. Uh, from the Montessori because I did this myself. It's not the box. This is not something that That um, the whole thing came together you put them together or you can buy them at Lakeshore or you can buy them at the Montessori as well There's a Montessori store, but with the Montessori store you do have to put them together at the Lakeshore uh, Teacher supply those come in little tubs versus these little boxes that I bought at the Dollar Tree um, And those you can purchase a whole set. I believe they're $179 for the whole tub set at the Lakeshore Teacher Supply Store. But here I decided to gather my own things, uh, gather my own little mini objects and created um, these boxes from Dollar Tree. Mommy, uh, each little box down. was a dollar, 25 at the Dollar Tree. So let me sit down and start working with you guys because Sophia does want me to open that box that she has. You want the light to be turned on? It's because it looks really dark. So. So right now she is. Really dark. Here we go. She, she this is um, these really little ob dark. some of these little objects mommy, that you see mommy, here. It's really dark. Mm, it's dark. Okay, I have to push the button. Give me a few minutes. These little objects that you guys see here uh, all came in a set uh, of of something like this no, right here. Murphy. Um, and these are called yeah, our generation of, um, little boxes. These boxes were seven dollars and ninety nine cents at Target. If you look them up at Amazon, they will be $24.99. So um, if you like to shop at Target, maybe you might find them a little bit less costy, um, less, you know, 
price at Target. So this is what she's trying to open. And uh, I'm sure this globe that we're trying to use to be placed inside our boxes, it's not gonna go uh, properly. It's not gonna fit in there because the boxes are not that great. It's not gonna be able to fit in properly. Um, so also, um, she's gonna open this and try to play with it while I try to um, put other things in those little mini boxes while she's entertained doing this. Um, and then so just to show you that this other popcorn set that I'm going to show you in a minute came in a box just like this for $7.99 um, from the Target store. These are doll toy mini objects. So this is what this came with. The other set was a mini popcorn set. And um, I'm not sure because I'm holding the, um, I'm not holding the camera, but my stand is holding the camera and it's blocking some of it out. So um, this is a mini soda a mini soda that you use at um that all this represents from the movies what she's holding in her hand i'm not sure if you see it is a ticket to go inside the movies so this is like an open um little soda pop thing and so it has a word soda so instead of me putting it um i guess not in a cup or well it could be like a sippy cup right because it does have a straw and then um so i'm going to put it where the letter s is as in soda and then this is the popcorn. We already have a popcorn in the boxes, but um, like I said, it also came in there. So this is the size of it. So you guys will know what it looks like. This is a ticket, like a popcorn ticket movie thing. It came in one of those, like I said, the whole set of the little boxes. And this uh, ticket is like to teach her that you need a ticket to go into the movies. And this is what you normally buy at the movies. I'm sorry about that. So this one here is it opens up. Close it. You want to close it? Can you can you move it for us? Here we go. So you close it up and you turn it around. So here she will be using her fine motor skills, her um, fine motor skills and eye coordination to twist and twist and turn and turn the popcorn stand there that she has. So there's little object boxes and many people might just say, hey, they're just toys. Um, it depends how you want to view it. I mean, I really just see it as an instrument, a resource for me to teach my daughter how to move her fingers, how to use her fingers, how to touch things, and how to also use them as a vocabulary words and speech um, a purpose for it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and open this so I can get started with this so she can entertain herself with that. So I'm just not going to like be really careful with it, guys, so, so we can hurry up. And it's all taped, as you can see. So if I use one hand, it would probably would not work for me. Sister, yep. Hey, mommy. Yes, ma'am. Mommy only uses the scissors, correct? Yeah. So let's. Okay. Okay. Let's do this really quickly here. And I apologize for the lighting, guys. I am not an expert on YouTube. I'm not no means expert on teaching or anything like that i just been having a passion um forever like since my kids were very little my oldest son is 32 and my youngest daughter is two as you can see she's right in front of me and so here we go this one has um i guess little stickers with happy faces i don't know if you guys can see that they're little stickers to travel Here's a little notebook, a notebook and a little pen. And there's a little pen right here. And I'm not sure what this is. A sticker. It's a sticker too. And here's your little globe. So she threw the sticker away. Okay, so usually the boxes tell us on the back what they have. It's one globe, one journal, one pen, and two stickers charts. So you saw the two sticker charts that were shaped in hearts, and it's right here at the bottom where you can read it, what it has in there, one, one globe, one journal, one pen, and two sticker um, charts is what it says, but they're shaped in a heart. So that's what this little box comes in with. So. Let's move right along, guys. I just wanted to open that up for her so she can see that and she can write with a little notebook. Um, the popcorn setup also had like a little chocolate bar. So here's that chocolate bar right there. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to uh, actually do with this whole entire video was um, 
I had these in my wall of storage where I keep all her Montessori and resources to teach my daughter how to read and write and uh, uh, do math and science and all the great stuff. So I went in there and got this box here. It has 26 figures and what it is, they're magnetic. Uh, though they're magnetic, but um, we're not going to use them for magnetic purpose here. So if you look inside the box, you'll see that it does have the magnetic at the end over here. And it has the word at the top of the object here. So this is a yacht. Um, so we would definitely place this where the letter Y is. Um, and then this one's a nest. So this one would be placed in the letter N as a nest uh, and so forth. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do. This is umbrella, it'll go under the uh as an umbrella and so forth. So let me do this while um, Sophia is playing over there with her little toys and little stickers, I believe. So let me just j dive in here and as I put them in there, I will be showing you what's inside those boxes. So no um, order whatsoever because as I pull these out, that's how we're gonna be um, putting them in the boxes and you can see them, okay? So there's there should be 26 unless we lost one when we used to work with these and we had our easel from Lakeshore. Um, then uh, if I lost one, well, then I am so sorry. I'm not sure if all of them are gonna be here. So let's dive in and let's do this. Okay, so here's my letter A, my box for the letter A, and here's the, uh, the apple. My, my little card that I got from Target for, with the two letters, the A. Here's the wooden apple, the, the wooden letter A that I got from the Dollar Tree. So all of them have a wooden letter inside and they're from Dollar Tree, so it comes in a pack. Then you have alligator. Oh, a pack pack. You have alligator here. And I'm not sure if this is showing properly, but I hope it is. And then there's the ax here. Um, let me see this way, there you go. That's an ax there. So there you go. Now let's get the next one, it's helicopter helicopter with the letter H. So let's look for the letter H. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, H, right here. Here we go. Here's the H. And for H, give me a second, give me a second. Here's the letter H. And then we have heart. We have the letter H with the wooden one. We have hat. Let me see if I can see this here. And then we have hippopotamus. We have another little hat. And we have hamburger. Okay. Hamburger. And we have house. This is supposed to be a house. House. And I think that's it for that one. Can we put the letter H in here, Sophia? Thank you. And helicopter with the letter H. Good job. Okay, there we go. The next one would be lion with the letter L. L lion. Where's the letter L? That's J. This is the letter L. Lion. So for the letter L, um, we have so many items. Oops, I just dropped the lemon. For the letter L, we have a lot of items here. So there's lion. Here's an actual lion here. Then you have lantern, lantern, okay. We have lobster. I'm gonna have to switch them this way because what's happening if you guys, um, I have the holding thing for my, my tripod is holding it. So I really have to like really see from the back to be seeing what I'm doing here. So this is lollipop. And this one is, this is not supposed to be here. I think Sophia put this in here because it's a lid. So let me see if I can do this. Got it. Got you got it. it, lemon, that's a lemon. What letter does it start with? Yeah. Lemon. So here you go. This is a, um, we're using this as a lid. So she accidentally put all these pots inside that box because of the lid was in there. So this is lid. Cheers. Cheers to a happy life. And then this was a lamp. I don't know what happened, but it must've broke. Oh, here's the lamp. Here's the lamp, this way. She must've been playing with it and it broke. So there's the lamp. And then let's see here. Of course you have the letter L. And what else is here? These pots don't go in here. These, these mini little pots, they don't go in there. Uh, we just have the lids in there. Okay, great. Anything else we need to show you? And then, 
Then we have letters. These are like little, little letters here. Little letters. We have ladybug. Ladybug. You wanna play with ladybug? <laughs> okay, no. Okay, so there we have it. I hope we put everything back that needs to be in there. You wanna put the lamp back in there? Okay, so the next one we have is tomato. What letter does this start with, Sophia? What letter? What is this? What letter? T -t -t tomato. Can you find it for me? T -t -t I switched up the uh, the alphabet for her. So, where's the T? T, -t, -t tomato. Very good. Can can you give it to me, please? Thank you. So in here, as you can see, we have tub, tub. We have treasure box, treasure box. We have turtle, turtle. We have tree. Hopefully you can see that. Tennis rackets. These are from the Dollar Tree from a toy. Uh, this is a tennis racket from the Montessori Little Items uh, speech boxes. Uh, tiger. This one here is a tray. A tray to carry things and coffees and whatnot. Then of course I have my letter T, the wooden T. And tassel tassel and this one's tomato tomato okay here you go can you put it back for me sophie thank you it's okay can you put it back so the next one we have is nest 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 with the letter n it's okay come here let me show you there you go very good sophia awesome job awesome good job yeah Push down the house, the treasure box. Here, let me see. Yeah, you were doing it great. Here, push it in there in the corner. There you go, there you go. Now you can put it back. The next one's gonna be N as in nest. If Sophia, you can find me the, oops, sorry. Sophia, you can find me the N as in nest. Nest, can you find the nest? Can you find the N? Very good, here's the N. So this is nest. We have net. Like when you go fishing, net. We have newspaper. Newspaper. And then we have the letter N. Okay, you can put it away, Sophie. Thank you. Would you hot cookie and nest? Yeah, yes. Okay, now we have the letter. I mean, now we have umbrella. Umbrella. What's, what does umbrella start with? Uh, uh, umbrella. Can you find the letter that starts with umbrella? Uh, uh, umbrella. It's rainy. Yeah, it's rainy. So umbrella starts with the yellow, uh, the letter W, as in w, w. And I'm sorry, not w. That's that's the W. I'm sorry, the U. Uh, uh, umbrella, as in up, and umbrella. We had a physical umbrella, and Sophia's playing with it now. And she is going to be tempted to play with all these toys, guys, while well, I'm trying to show you the uh, what's in these. Yes, we have some more, remember? Broken. Yes, ma'am. We can get another one. Remember, we have so many of those. Then this one's koala. Koala. And it starts with the letter K. Do you know where the letter K is, Sophia? K? Do you want to help me find the letter K? Yeah. Where is it? The letter K. This one here? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay, yes, ma'am. Here's the K. No. Yeah, that's a kettle. Can you show them on the camera that it's a kettle? Show it to them on the on the camera right here. We're, we're careful. Don't fall. No, it's the other way. You have to show it over here. See? Okay. okay. Show it to them over here. See? There you go. Show it to them. Here, give it to me. She's trying to go this way because we can see it on this way. So here's the word, here's the kettle. Can you see it now, Sophia? Yeah. Can you see it? Kettle is so tiny. Kettle. <laughs> here so ke the we have kangaroo. Be -ka -be -ka we have kangaroo. The letter can K. And we have a real key. And I think that's it in there. So there's koala. Okay, the next one we're going to look into, and these aren't glued, and um, I don't have them glued because if I want to work with a specific letter one day, 
um, say I want to work with the letter D, then I just bring out the box. And this is not where it's set up. This is Sophia's little table where she normally works. I just set them up here so I can have a place to sit and actually show you guys what's inside our little boxes. Okay, so the next one's gonna be queen with the letter Q, qu, qu, queen. Sophia, do you know where the, qu, the, the letter Q is? As in queen? I got it, I got it, I got it. Cause you're gonna have to move. You wanna go grab it? Okay, you're gonna grab it? Okay, she's gonna go grab it. Can you put that inside the letter Q? Okay. Very good. Can you show me what's inside? What's inside? Do you know what this is? What are these? This. Quarters. So this. the only thing I had in here was, this. now we have queen. Let me show this. The letter Q and quarters inside. That is yacht with the letter Y. Can you find the letter Y for me? It's over there where you're sitting down. Let me see if I can go a little bit faster, guys, because I really don't know how many minutes we're into this video and we're not halfway. So she's gonna put that into the Y. Did we have anything in there? I think we had yarn. Yarn was in there. Z, zebra, z, z, zebra. Very good, it's in, it's in the top because there's not a lot of space. So zebra, we have inside oh zebra, oh I got it. zipper, and zebra. Oh She's got it. She's gonna go put that in there. Then we have van. Let me go straight into the van, uh, the V, I'm sorry. And inside the, the V, we have vase, we have vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner. We have the letter V. We have violin, you can see that, violin, and that's it for the letter V. It's a little bit faster. Then we have mushroom, M mushroom with the letter M, as in mushroom. Here's the letter M. Oh, I got it. You got it, okay. I'm gonna put that on the top. Okay. You're gonna put it back on the top, good job. Can you find the letter M for me, Sophia? Okay. Okay, mushroom. What's inside the letter M, Sophia? Can you show us? Watermelon. I don't know if you can see her, yes. Watermelon, what? I'm sorry. Is that a watermelon or is that a melon? It's melon, it looks like a watermelon. It looks like a watermelon, so, but it's the letter M as in melon. Okay, then we have mop. It got A, it got A. Yeah, and then we have mug. Mug, a little mug, Clean. mug. Clean up, clean, clean up, clean up. up. She's cleaning up. Then we have mat. Then we have a mat, a welcome mat that goes outside your house. A monkey. We have the letter W. Um, what else inside? I think that's it for that one. Oh, and then she has monkey playing with it right now. So the next one's gonna be guitar. Guitar, g, g, guitar. Where does a guitar go? G, 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 guitar. Can you find guitar, Sophia? G, g, with the letter G. G, g. It's up here, Sophia. Guitar. Right here, Sophia. Guitar. G, g. Okay, well, be careful, Sophia, because they're not glued, remember? And speaking of glue, inside the letter G, we find glue. Okay, give me a second. Let me show it to them. You will find glue, a sticky glue. You will find a gift. You will find the guitar. You will find a golf stick or golf. Let's open this. You will find a goat. A goat. She wants to open the It's nothing inside, it's just plastic. Okay. The next one we have is ball. B -b ball. B -b ball. Where's the B, Sophia? B -b ball. Can you can you find the word B for me? You want to play with it? So she's going to give us a hard time with this, guys, because she's going to want to play with all the little toys. So here's the word B for ball. Box. Basket. I hope you're looking at this. I'm sorry. But box, basket, B, broom, 
Yes, ma'am. What's inside? There's nothing inside, Mama. It's just a little a present, a gift. Oh. And she is opening it, so she will disassemble that gift. I don't know if you can see she's disassembling the gift. Here's the bananas. Here is the... Um, I went blank, guys. I'm trying no, to see her disassemble the, the gift over there. She just did. Of course it's empty. I told you it was empty. It's just foam. See? It's empty. It's just foam. She disassembled the whole thing. They're not toys. These are only to use them as objects. Um, I think this is... Um, um, okay, guys. I don't remember. I'm not going to even go there. So we have a bird here. Mama. Uh, bulb. Mommy. Mommy, it's glue. That is glue. Put it back in the box. This is baby. If you can see, this one's a baby. And I think that's it. Uh, bag, paperback. Here's a paperback. Then we have baseball bat, baseball glove, and baseball down here at the bottom. And I kept it in this little bag so she doesn't try to... Um, play with them. And then we have Bill. And it's glue. What's so, that? let's put that in there. Okay, so moving right along, guys, we have Earth as the letter E. Earth. Earth. It's right over there, and I'm going to need her to go grab that for me. Then we have S for Spider. Spider, as in Sophia, as well. Spider, S for Sophia. That's me. Yeah, that's you. That your name starts with the letter S, right? And then we have sack. We have star. We have spoon. We have a seahorse. We have a sled. Uh, we have. And in my first video, I messed this one up because I was in a hurry. But this is a syringe. And I had called it a thermostat. That's too funny. But it's a syringe. Here's a strawberry. Here's a snail. What else we got in here? Snowman. We have a stamp. Some more in here. Stamp. And stethoscope. Stamp. I think that's it. I think that's all we have in here. Oh. Spatula. Oops. This spatula is really tiny. If I can put this down and show it to you. Look how tiny that is. Spatula. Okay, so that goes in our letter S. S. Okay, then we have xylophone with an X. Xylophone. I don't think I have anything in the X box other than fox. And fox starts with the letter F, but it ends with the letter X. Okay. And that's all. Okay. Then we have duck with the letter D. Duh, 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 duck. And duck is right over here. D, I'm sorry. Duh, 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 duck. I have a dress from the Dollar Tree that I bought a little dress for her dolls. She doesn't have any Barbies. Actually, guys, she does not have any Barbies. That's too weird. Okay, so this is goes to a Barbie doll, but we don't have any Barbie dolls. So I got this to represent the letter D as in dress. D, D, dress. And then here's your duck. And then I have dog. Dog. I hope you can see it. There, dog. Then, let me turn, do, do, do it this way. Then we have drum. Here's another little dog. Then we have a little duck. A little duck. And we have donut. Donut. Okay, so A, B, C, D. Here we go. Okay, so we're almost done, I promise. <laughs> then we have carrot. K -k carrot with a letter C. This one's pretty full, so carrot. We have compass. That came from a, a toy from the Dollar Tree as well. Then we have a plain card. Plain card. Then we have candle, candle. Then we have so many in here. Cat, look how tiny that is. Cat, cactus, crayon, cat, 
crab. It's a D. Car. It's a D. It's a D. It's a D. Oops. This one is a clock. And this one's Coca Cola. If I can stand it up. I'm trying to use two hands at one time. Yep. Coca Cola. Another crab. And cork. Cow. We have a lot of C's. Clip. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Can. Meow. Can. Okay. I think that's it. And carrot. Carrot. Okay, so let's put everything back in the letter C. We're almost finished, I promise. Ice cream. Ice cream. Where's your igloo, Sophia? Where's your igloo? Do you know where it's at? It's in the kitchen. So we got some new toys and I forgot to bring them to you guys, but it's igloo. <laughs> Uh, for I, uh, this one's the uh, that one's ice cream, but the other one's igloo has a different sound. Let me see if I can find it. Where's your igloo? Where's your igloo? Where's your igloo? Mommy, you must find it. Yeah, I think I found it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm not an expert at editing videos, so if this is straight up life. Mommy, found it. Glue. Put it in the letter G. So these little animals are, are for her to work with when we do like igloos and whatnot. So this one's the igloo here. here. Here's the igloo. So that would go in the letter I. But she can play with them now. Here you go, Sophia. Go ahead and play. Okay, so moving right along, we have orange with the letter O. And let me see. I hope I'm not moving this too much. Okay, so O. Let's see here, got it. Oh, well, that's, no, 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 Sophia, that's igloo. It doesn't go in here. Then we have owl, owl, and then we have octopus, and we have the letter O. Hopefully, everything's looking good in here, guys, so far. Okay, we're almost done. This is all we have left. Sophia, this is what's inside that box. This little box here. So you'll know if you want to get it. I got it at Amazon. Um, and it's called foam magnets for toddlers, animals, educational toys. And that's what it's called if you want to grab this from the Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was. I'm not going to give you a price right here, but you can look it up in Amazon. Here's frog. Frog. Let me see. Can I have the letter F? Thank you. Excuse me, Sophia. Here's the letter F for frog. We have a little frog here. We have a file folder. And this little file folder has a medical folder uh, file form in there. Can you see that? Look how small that is. Look how small that is. So it's a little file folder. And this one came in one of those little boxes that I just showed you at the very beginning of this video for the dolls to play with. So that's that. In here, you will find a fidget toy. And I've been teaching Sophia how to spell fidget. So this is a fidget toy. And I don't remember where we got this one from. I think, well, I do remember now. Um, one of her friends gave her this toy. So we also have a funnel, a funnel as an F. Uh, I'm sorry, this doesn't go here. These animals don't go in here. Uh, F for frog, <laughs> for frog, F for flag. There you go, flag. Why is this horse in here? That horse does not go here. A uh, fish and flower. And this was from an eraser setup that we found uh, from her little toys. And file folder. And that's it for your letter F. Yep. Did we put the frog in there? Yes. Okay, let's go into the wolf. Guys, if you're gonna use this, I, I, like I said, this is, I'm only doing this video because I'm showing you the objects, but 
really, I don't feel like I want to glue them unless I'm really going to have them in a set up place. Like I'm not going to move them from there. But other than that, you know, you can use all kinds of stuff. That's why some of the teachers use tubs uh, instead of um, little boxes like these. But this is Wolf. And let's go into the W. And in the W, we have the letter W here. Can you see that W? We have washing. Um, I know it's washing pan or something, washing something. Okay, so where you wash your clothes. We have a wrench. Okay. We have a watch, an actual watch. We have a wagon. We have water. These are really small items. And I just glued these down here. And we have wolf. And that's it. And the letter W. So the next one would be parrot. P -p parrot. He is back here. As I had showed you before, we had popcorn already in here. But we can also put this one in here. Popcorn. So we have two popcorns. We can put it back in here. Pineapple. Pill. P A I L. Pill. Here's your letter P. Then we have panda. P -p panda. Pan to cook. Pan. We have plain. Plain. Can you see that? We have pumpkin. Pumpkin. We have pitcher. Now, pitcher and jar, you can use that as a pitcher or a jar. So, pitcher. We're using it as a P. We have pin, a safety pin. Pin. We have pig. And what is this? Penguin. And that's it. Panda. We it. And here's parrot. Okay. Almost three left, guys. We have Earth. 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 For Earth, we have the letter E. We have elephant. We have egg, elephant, and that's it. Just those three there, and then we'll earth, earth. Okay. okay, two left. Rainbow and jellyfish. Rainbow, r, r, rainbow. Where's the letter R, Sophia? R rainbow. What is rainbow? R rainbow. Here. Right there. There's a letter R. Perfect. So we one rug. This is ribbon. Just any ribbon that I grabbed. I don't even know from where. From a present or something. We have the letter R. We have rock. It's a pretty rock, actually. We have rabbit. And that's it. Rainbow. And she took something. What did she take? She took a rug. A rug. She took a rug. The last one, guys, is jellyfish. J J jellyfish. J J J jellyfish. Do you know where the jellyfish is? The J, the J. J J, as in jump, as in J jellyfish. Where's the J? Where's the J? We're here. Very good. Can I have it? That's our last one. Okay, let me have it. Thank you. We have nothing in the letter J, so jellyfish. Okay, jellyfish, j, j, jellyfish. So there you have it. You know what's inside our little boxes. As we add uh, more to um, our little boxes, I will do additional videos so you guys will know uh, what that is. The globe is not gonna fit in there. As you can see, it's too big. Um, so this is something that I wanted to do so I can... Uh, Additionally, keep showing you the what's inside the little boxes. Um, this is soda. Um, I don't know how many S's. I have a lot of S's in there, so that would be soda for that. Um, that's about it. Um, if I can uh, show you anything else, you guys want to 
see anything else, um, then um, I certainly can. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more of these and how I use it to really uh, work with Sophia on the um, sounds of these letters, um, then that's a different video. But these are the objects that go inside the object boxes. So um, that way you know um, how to set them up and then start working with their vocabulary, with their speech, um, and how to pronounce, then um, this will last you, I wanna say you can even use them all the way to the second and third grade. Um, Sophia's in this, well, she's two years old, but um, you can use them at any age, really, at any age. So Mommy. these are valuable tools and resources Mommy. for you to have and create. Mommy, um, Mommy, Mommy with yes, Grandma. Grandma's upstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So really, um, you can also use baskets. Uh, the Montessori system also uses baskets and they can be big items such as like this one, like bread, uh, cup and plate, something like this, right? You can use big baskets instead of these and does just grab a big basket um, that you have at home and then put the items that you wanna work and grab things from home, like a cup and a plate and uh, anything you wish and just throw it in a basket and work like that and then uh, put it on a little mat and then just teach your child how to pronounce the word and then uh, say, this is a cup, cup. And then um, if you say, hey, this is a cup, and then what letter does it start with? K, k, what sound does it make? K, k, and it starts with the letter C. So um, those are just little ways you can use them, uh, but there's so many ways you can use them. Again, it doesn't have to be this setup. You can use any setup you wish. Like like I said, Lakeshore has the tubs. Uh, Montessori just has sometimes baskets and has little like Tupperware uh, bo boxes, I believe. But it all depends on your style and your way of doing things. So, um, I will leave you with that and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh, it really does help and it does help also that you guys uh, comment down there uh, if there's something specific you want me to show you about Sophia and about her um, journey in learning and learning and playing. And I love this right here that says play is the work of a child. So she is playing but she is also learning and playing and having fun. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our videos. Oh, and I want to take a video. she wants to do a video. Awesome. And we thank you so very much for no, following us on video. YouTube. No, take a video. Okay, go in front of the video and tell them goodbye. No, take goodbye. You're not going to tell them goodbye. Thanks, everyone, for following us. Bye. No.